And now the Argentine cross. We commence this figure facing wall. And quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. We end facing center. And quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Commence facing wall. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. We end facing center. Left foot forward, small step. Right foot cross behind. Left foot to the side. Right foot cross in front, Cuban cross. Left foot to the side, right foot cross in front of left foot, Cuban cross. Left foot side, right foot cross behind, left foot replace. Right foot cross, Cuban cross, left foot to the side, and right foot cross in front of left foot to finish in a Cuban cross position. Left foot forward. Cuban cross, left foot side, right foot Cuban cross, left foot side, right foot Cuban cross, left foot side, Cuban cross, side, right foot Cuban cross, left foot and finish in a Cuban cross. And now the footwork. Ball flat, ball, ball flat, ball flat, ball, ball flat, ball flat, ball, ball flat, ball flat, ball, ball flat. We start this figure to center, total of 12 steps. And one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And we finish this figure facing wall. In our description of the steps, and forward, side, forward, side, back, side. Forward, side, forward, side, back, side. And let's take a look at it one more time. Right foot forward in line with left foot. Left foot side, right foot forward. Left foot side, right foot back, creating Cuban cross position, left foot side. Right foot forward, left foot side, right foot forward. Left foot side, right foot back, creating Cuban cross position, left foot side. And now the footwork. Ball flat, ball, ball flat, ball flat, Ball, ball, flat. Ball, flat. Ball, ball, flat. Ball, flat. Ball, ball, flat. Description of Argentine cross. Very important. We start this in closed position. The man starts this figure on the left foot. Now, I'm going to take this is closed position and this is extended closed position. Closed position, my hand is on the lady's shoulder blade. In extended closed position, my hand is over the lady's elbow joint, gripping gently but firmly. The lady is also gripping the man's arm firmly but gently. Now the incline. We incline to the left and incline to the right, or another word for the same thing is shaping left and shaping right. So we're going to do these Argentine crosses concentrating on the incline. And you want to make sure that your lady is keeping her arms nice and light and she's not hanging on you. When we do this beautiful step, the Argentine cross. And one, and incline. And incline, and incline. So a nice way to practice this is just to stand there shaping and inclining. 
Now, another little notation is up to two turns can be made in the Argentine cross. So I'm going to start here and finish two turns, finish right here. So here we have an one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So more turn can be made in this step, the Argentine cross. And another final note, if I can think of one more. Yes, I do have one more. I pull the rabbit out of the hat and the lady can turn steps four through six and nine through 12. So I, let's count this. She's going to turn under my left arm. So let's try this. We have one, two, three, turn her four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's a lady's, uh, what kind of a turn are you doing there, Christina? You just the underarm turn, as what you do in any other figure. And it also depends on, of course, how responsive you are on man's lead. Because you have um, only three steps to make you turn and finish it quite fast. So let's see how we can do it. It's also very important for the man to catch, to regain the close hold, to help the lady with her balance. And one, two, three. Now, as man raises his arm, when you already start to close your left side to your right side, right on that first step, four, five, six. So you complete the full turn during your three steps. Next, seven, eight, nine, and again. On the next step, right away, close your left side, squeeze, Swing your arm across of your body so you can complete very fast turn over three steps. So there we have some nice little tips and suggestions to do a lovely Argentine cross. Mm -hmm.